Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I'm of the stars. These are tumultuous times as the ascension process ushers in the new human and to new life on new earth. I have a concern uh, that for good Christians uh, sometimes there's a great deal of opposition now by the Satan cults that in the secular age flourish quite often in the large cities especially and uh, one of the favorite ploys of the Satan cults is to to join a Christian church and then denounce good Christians so that their faith may be tested and shaken and uh, so that others may disparage them so I've been looking around for a way to to help with the situation for, for good Christians who want to profess their faith and are sometimes shaken by the temptations, the snares of Satan and of, of Satan cults. I looked on Wikipedia and I found a very good profession of baptism for Methodism and I found that it's uh, Creative Commons, so that's very important for me to be able to say it online. And I thought I'd read it to you now, so that in case something comes up for you where your faith begins to be shaken, you can read along with me, or you can hear what I say and then, uh, and then speak the answers, which are very simple. I find it helpful to me to do that. So, this is in the Sunday service of the Methodists the first liturgical book of Methodism containing these baptismal vows. Now, I'm not a Methodist, but this is pretty close to what most Christians profess. I think it's a good idea, um, one of the good ideas. If you can find that for your own faith, then you can do the same thing for yourself. Baptismal vows. The questions are usually asked by the clergy. So you'll have to forgive me, I'll just do my best here. Dost thou renounce Satan and all his works, the vain pomp and glory of the world, with all the covetous desires of the same, and the carnal desires of the flesh, so that thou wilt not follow or be led by them? The answer is, I renounce them all. Question. Dost thou believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only begotten Son, our Lord, and that he was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, that he suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried, that he went down to hell, and also did rise again the third day, that he ascended into heaven, and sitteth at the right hand of God the Father Almighty, and from thence he shall come again at the end of the world to judge the quick and the dead. And doth thou believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the remission of sins, the resurrection of the body, and everlasting life after death? The answer is, all this I steadfastly believe. The question next, wilt thou be baptized in this faith? The answer, this is my desire. The last question, wilt thou then obediently keep God's holy will and commandments and walk in the same all the days of thy life? 
And the answer is, I will endeavor to do so, God being my helper. Well, that's it. It's pretty simple. It's baptismal vows, in case you'd like to reaffirm them. In your own faith, there may be uh, confirmation vows that, that state similar professions of faith, and those are also very good. And so I suggest to, to those of you who are, who are um, maligned by Satan cults in the guise of Christians, uh, or by mistaken Christians even, that uh, the thing to do is to make it very clear, let your voice be heard in church when these types of professions of faith are made so that everyone understands what your beliefs truly are. Well, that's it for now. God bless you all and keep you safe and be with you through all your days.